What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I am hyped because they actually added a new artifact, a new pay to win artifact system in the game that really doesn't affect a lot of people. It's really for that like top 1% that are already spending a lot anyway, that want to get even more progress and push some crazy, crazy limits like up to sea land 30 and stuff. Do you guys need it as the average player? No, not really. Do you want to get them? Maybe. Maybe, but you got to have enough heroes in your account that you literally have heroes sitting in your roster just as tenants in your householders on Cloud Island. You do not want to use these heroes that are going to have these new artifacts. Trust me, we'll go into it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. I'm hyped. Let's get into it. <laughs> So we're on the server one account we have just for updates like this. So not everything is unlocked in case you guys like Barry, what, what account are you on? It's just our server one. So we could literally look at this the second it went live. We were actually on live stream on Twitch on the tap tap server since it launches there first, but we have these new events coming out. The big one being the glorious treasure chest. So there's, really only paid options to try to get these new things but we have these special new chests that are both in this event here you can get the basic version of the chest in the sky mall and then you can also get them from the moonlight gift and they are called glorious flag selection chest now when you open this up and you take a look at it you can pick whichever one you want and when you look at them it's a little confusing at first they give just some attack and some hp and you're like barry why is that good why would i want that devotion to reduces self attack by 25 percent and max hp by 25 percent during battle why in the world would i use this this is stupid this is useless i'm actually losing stats by equipping this to a hero well that's because we need to make a little trip over to the Ormus workshop. And this is where these artifacts get a little out of control, not for using them on your hero, but for tenants, which is why this system is, I, I was I was praying we weren't gonna get like this crazy, like you need them on every hero. You actually don't. These are literally tenant artifacts for your cloud island. If we take a look at them when they get to glittery, not only do they give more raw stats just for equipping them, when they are equipped to the appropriate faction hero, you're getting bonuses. Now, the devotion does continue to creep up. It goes up to 30%. We look at radiant up here. Uh, this stat stays the same. This goes from 8% attack and HP to 8% or to 16% attack and HP. The reduction continues to go up. And then when you finally look at the splendid version, you get a bonus 24% attack and HP while reducing your stats by 40%. So this is a really weird thing, but very good because what you're actually gaining is 40 what is that 48 yeah 48 percent attack and 54 percent hp for your tenants the people you're just chucking and not even use your fiona's your no skis you don't actually use them but they're your tenants for your sword flash this is amazing this is awesome and you don't really want to use them in combat because well uh it's gonna lower their attributes so unless you're an extremely late game hero pushing c land 28 29 30 this really doesn't affect you that much um now, there are a couple things to talk about. People might think, well, I just got to get the Transcendence one immediately because Transcendence are awesome. Not really, unless you're one of those really late endgame players that literally have extra Transcendence heroes specifically to be geared and set up and not used, but specifically used on Cloud Island Tenants locations. Um, you probably don't want to go after this. I would probably say one of the most beneficial ones you could go after is going to be the fortress flag uh you're going to have a sword flash and you're going to need an anosuke and a fiona as those tenants uh what better way to increase their stats than this so yeah i mean there there's an argument that if you have asmodel for your sword flash this would reality be the best option but then you would not be using your asmodel with this equipped you'd have to have like different gear setups in your formations and swapping it constantly and that sounds like a headache to me i think i would much rather have two of these is that the most optimal way i don't know i'm sure discord is going to tell me i'm wrong but hey <laughs> this looks like it would be the best route to go uh really whatever hero you use i mean if for some reason you didn't pick a sword flash 
pick whichever faction is going to give you the best bonus, I guess. But why don't you have a Sword Flash? And then on top of that, we have Holmes Young as the next Transcendence Hero. So he's going to have Fortress Tenants. You see what I'm saying here? See what I'm saying? That This flag seems like the most important flag out of all the flags, at least in my opinion. Now, how do we get these this event? Like I said, there's only two ways to get them. One of them is purely from spending VIP points. So this right here is what, $300? Um, you can get two of these selection chests here, one at 100, one at $110. I believe that is 110. Um, no, that must be 120, something like that, right? 120? Yeah, 120. So at $120 with the Moonlight Gift, you can get the second one. If you're wailing out this account, though, you're going to want to go for this. So let's just say you want to get one splendid of these artifacts. You're going to need to spend, of course, the 120 to unlock both of these. But spending that 120 is not going to get you very far on the actual event here. You need to get to 50 of these. 50 of these other chests cashed out. Well, that's going to run you a little bit of money. You can, of course, get 10 here, um, which means you're going to be getting 5 more here, which brings you to 15 for, what, uh, $200? I guess you could bypass this one if you really want to, but you should grab this one. So that's $200. You're going to need to spend 300 more, roughly. This is expensive. To get a full Splendor one, it sounds like it's going to be 500 bucks. So that's 30, 40, 45, and then you can get some here. 246, 789. So not quite 500. You can get this if you get the pack. So 400 and I guess 10, $410. Yeah, $410 will get you 50 of these glorious treasure chests, which is pretty much like an orange exclusive, orange, or sorry, red exclusive, orange and orange exclusive chest but it also has a percentage to drop one of seven of the brand new flags. These seven flags total up to be like 2.002% chance to pull one of them per chest. And if you're doing 50 of them, by the odds, that means you should hit one. Yeah. <laughs> so 410 bucks gets you to here. It gets you the four guaranteed glorious and then maybe... Your high roll, maybe a low roll. It just really depends. So I think this is an amazing way to add a new level for spenders to keep the game afloat. Because you guys know, spenders are what keep this game going. It gives them something to now achieve that doesn't really affect you guys as the average player. I know on like every one of my accounts, but my main account, I really don't care about these. And they're not going to affect me to a point that really matters. Because I mean, 24 and 30%. You can already have like a, uh, I don't know, just like chucking on something like a regular Kiss of Ghost is 25-14. So it's not like a huge stat bonus. But when you're pushing crazy content, the HP is going to add it real fast and the extra attack. So yeah, down downside of these, you can't use them as like a regular hero in combat. Upside, you can use them as a tenant flag. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I really like what they did here for once. I really, really do. It's a good way to get people to pay, but not affect your average player. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. See you guys next time.